do that when they're not penciled in or penned in to second each other, which is good. It makes it more fair for their opponent opponents. Boy, it seems like they don't like 0-2 any more than they like 0-3. And from the PPW Training Academy, I'm proud to announce Jake Hazard! Jake Hazard has done an outstanding job as a newcomer. Still under 10 matches, you keep right up on it. Very proud to be here. Very happy to be in a wrestling ring. Proud of his country and heritage. He's got a lot of, 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 of colorful, colorful heritage including not limited to some Native American. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but here he is back here giving special attention to a kid that's about six years old. They love him too, they're taking to him quick, aren't they? Like I say, I'm always fascinated by Native American culture. Look at that, Lulu told me to ring the bell. I heard her loud and clear in 0-2. I think he's giving her a hard time. I know he understands enough English. Just let the crowd do the talking. You don't need to hear me, do you? Look at Jake. He's got an expression on his face. You know when someone loves this, and he really loves this. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, there was a ruse. But Jake's gonna learn the hard way. There's nothing better than baptism by fire. And that's what uh, is happening here right now. And a nice headlock takedown by zero two. However, Jake not staying down long. He's up to his feet. He's got the, well, he's powered out of it. Now he's transitioning to the head real quick and the people are elated, elated. And a headlock takedown of his own, nicely done. Now the thing is, not only is Jake had momentum and fire on his side, he's also got a size advantage. It looks to me like better than 40% of his uh, upper body weight is in those arms and shoulders. This kid is put together. Look at him grab that headlock with authority. And there we go. He gets 0-2 down again. Keeps him right where he wants him. Leaning the upper body. Cutting out the wind and the oxygen supply and the blood flow. And Zero is now transitioning to a head scissor. Everybody knows your legs are how much stronger than your arms and upper body. But look at Jake bench pressing that left leg, the right thigh off. And now he's got a bridge and he's bridged out of it. Oh, and Zero's on him quick and he grabs the headlock as fast as he possibly can. Try to take the start shot of Jake, but Jake said no. Back in control with that handful of tights. Something else to Lulu. Fired off by the tights. Big tackle. And look at Jake move. He moves pretty good. And he's out thinking zero and out wrestling him already. Beautiful headlock takedown and zero desperately takes him back into the ropes. Big tackle. Zero two drops on to try to trip Jake. A leap frogging went for the backdrop. A mid ring by zero. Beautiful v uh, vertical leap. But Jake right back to the head. Jake right back to the head, and over goes zero two. <laughs> How do you like that? Lulu right up in there, making sure there's no choke. He's got a handful of tights, I believe, but Lulu can't see it. It's not what a referee knows, it's what a referee can prove. Fire. Jake has got fire, heart, and determination for this industry. Jake's also an accomplished musician. From talking to him, I don't think there's an instrument he can't play. Not sure about the vocals yet. I haven't gotten into that. And hoping within the next week or two to uh, have his original music from his band, Bands, uploaded. Irish Rip Reverse. Jake with a big splash in the corner. And a big old school beel throw. And a cover. One, two, no, two count only. Fans have got to mention it again. Help us stay afloat, support us, and stream the Rancast, our weekly podcast, and also exclusive matches, including not limited to 
last month's big show taping or big taping which was shut up and wrestle on Patreon. Oh, he tried to get him up for a power move. Now Zero cut him off, but Jake cut him back off. He's got him back in the corner, throwing elbows on both sides into the ribs and the side. The obliques working the midsection here. Slam there by Jake Hazard. And a chin lock. Nope, he's got a chin lock combo with a headlock, and he's still in control of Zero. Please forgive me for getting to turn off those overhead lights for the entranceway. I finally got them. I'm here announcing them. Oh, Jake with the leg sweep. Sweep the leg. He does it. Oh, he's headbutting him in the midsection of the inner thigh. That time, it was right in the navel. And he's got that leg scissored. He's got the left leg scissored. Zero's in trouble. These people want to see him tap. They want to see a submission. You don't see that many submissions today in wrestling. And Jake may have one right here. Look at the size of him. Look at the thighs on Jake. Oh, zero two. Got to hand it to him with the wherewithal and the ring present zero two. Again, visit our shop, our official merchandise, only available on Pro Wrestling Tees. Please support us on Patreon, excluding co exclusive content, including the Rancast. And look at Zero Two is in trouble. We're coming up in that five minute mark. He Jake ran outside, confused him, delivers a big elbow. And Zero Two is now, I don't see him doing anything up to this point. They're five minutes in and now we're gonna see whatever power move Jake's got in store for him. Let's see if he can get in there. No! Zero got out again and pulls him down by the hair in front of the referee. And Lulu Lareda is doing what a referee should do. I don't care how much he cowers in the corner, wrong is wrong. Five minutes gone in the match. Five minutes gone. Now zero, open hand, right in front of the referee, and he can do that. Open hand strikes, palm strikes, they're legal. And a cover. Jake kicks right out with that tremendous upper body. A lot of life left in old Jake. Listen to the fans. Gave him the rock and roll fingers made famous by Ronnie James Dio. People used to say it was a sign of the devil back in the day. It's not. What it actually is is an Italian blessing. When you turn it backwards, it's the Italian curse. Oh, and Jake just not quick enough, and that's what happens sometimes when there's a size advantage. Someone like Zero Girlfriend with Japan won. Two, you use your size against you. And that's what martial arts is about. You use their momentum and size and strength against them. And you got to hit to zero two because that's what he's doing right now with the bigger man. And now he's really punishing the neck and that left trapezius and clavicle. He's got the clavicle tied in there with the neck. I know from experience with bunch of arthritis I have up in there how much pain this causes. It travels with all the nerve centers from the rhomboids to the base of the skull. It hurts. It's a dull, dull pain after a shooting pain. So he can let go of that hold, one. Oh, he can let go of that hold, but the pain can live on. He got caught. He got caught with his hands in the cookie jar. Jake Hazard with a schoolboy. Very slow to execute, though, because he's still out of it. One. He's still out of it. He only got a one count. And look, he's right back to that uh, trapezius, clavicle, shoulder blade, rhomboid, and neck region. And now he's incorporated the arm into there, only added more pressure into there. Ships around to a face lock as quick as he possibly can, keeping all of his weight on the head, neck of Jake Hazard. Now he's under there choking him. Hit from Lulu Lorena. He's choking him. Did you see that? I can see it from here, but Lulu can't. Lulu knows something's going on. The referee hears the fans' commands. And he's choking him on the other side. This 0-2 is well-traveled, man. Because if you can hide this from a referee today in 2022, you're good at it. You've obviously done this before. This is not his first rodeo or roundup. And there he goes again. And Lulu caught him. Lulu caught him. He might lose by DQ. Nope, he let go at the count of three. Oh, Lulu being very authoritative. Love to see it every week, and that's what she's going to have to need to compete in today's industry to be aggressive. One, two, and that's what the end game is for Lulu Lorena. She wants to be a luchadora. 
lot of indie wrestlers today, female wrestlers especially, don't realize is the character that it takes. And look at that. He is just beating the crap out of that right trapezius rhomboid nerve area. It's a nerve center. And there's another one. And Jake is in trouble, man. He is not working the crowd like he was just a few moments ago. Now he's got him tied up into a crab. With the damage done to the right side of the upper quadrant and that neck. Now he's going to finish it off with a camel clutch or his version of it. He's really, really tearing into Jake. Not seeing much out of Jake. The hands seem to be dropping. Lulu saw it too. She checked it. Hand drop once. You know what happens if she drops it the third time. That's twice and it's still a dead fish. Get ready to ring the bell. No! Don't forget Patreon. Our official March of Pro Wrestling Tees as Jake Hazard is letting these fans serve as his tag team partner reaching deep down and it's metal time, metal check time, gut check time and he's got the, oh, and he dropped it on the side of the ropes there and <laughs> the playing field has been level right at about the nine minute mark, nine and a half minutes, going into ten. The match has been 50-50. The first half to Jake, the second half to zero. We're at the 10 minute mark in about 10 seconds and Jake Hazard is coming to his feet and firing up and I don't want to be zero. Big tackle by Jake. Close line by Jake and that's a big ass arm and uh oh. Oh and a scoop slam and the cover one. Two! Oh! He planted it so much it was believable that he could have pinned him from that big scoop slam. It's not just me. You can hear the crowd reaction. Ten minutes gone in the match. Ten minutes gone. And look at Zero Gold trying to get away from pinfall ground. And he is. He's in the corner by the ropes. He's slow to get up to his feet. Jake has taken five minutes of punishment. Sometimes the young guy will do this. Keep him occupied, keep on him while you come up with a game plan. Jake's actually doing some smart wrestling. Up and over goes zero, two, which again, I told you, he's obviously got some experience. And a leg sweep cover. One, cut him right off. That was nicely done. Here goes Jake with a leg sweep. The goal move for move, tit for tat, hole for hold one. No, and a one count. These guys are starting to blow up, man. It's the 10 minute mark already. Schoolboy beautifully executed. One, two count. And Jake coming at him, what's he here? And he's going move for move with zero, two, one, two, unbelievable. Zero's up first, zero, kicks him in the stomach. And grabs the inside cradle, this might do it. One, two, no, and Jake kicks out at two, two and change. And now Jake with the inside cradle. One, two, and three! Your winner, Jake Hazard! Great matchup, great showing by Jake Hazard.